Hey y'all, today is the day that I need to clean this cabinet. Typically what I do is I will take all of the plants out and I will wipe all the glass down. I'll water the plants if I need to. I'll wipe the leaves if I need to. Just kind of clean everything and then put it all back. As you can see, there's just a lot of watermarks and it's gross and just over time, things like that happen in here. Um, so we're gonna knock this out today and I figured that I would have y'all join me. So uh, that's what we're gonna do today. So yeah, I don't know what the format of this video is going to be just yet, but hopefully y'all enjoy it. Make sure that you're subscribed. Um, and yeah, let's just get them to eat. Okay, so this cabinet holds mostly anthuriums because they really seem to enjoy this cabinet. This is just an Ikea Millsbo cabinet that I've ghetto rigged, as you can see when I moved. Um, the little Velcro strips kind of fell off, so I just taped it. Um, <laughs> moving on. I typically start from the top and work my way down so that it doesn't get super overwhelming. So I'm going to clear... Oh, shoot, my bad. Sorry. I'm gonna clear this shelf first, and then once I'm done with that, I'll put everything back, and we'll work on this bottom section here. We have the Anthurium Waterburyanum crossed with Warkleyanum, the variegated Alocasia Frydeck, Anthurium Bessie crossed with Ace of Spades, this pathetic Philodendron Luxurians Dark, Anguicula that's actually been doing really well, and I'm super proud of that. <laughs> You know what? I think we could put some stuff up here. Um, this is my papillomenum. I can't see what y'all can see, but here's my papillomenum. New growth. This is the Anthurium cyrenoi agapornis, the delanii. Where's the new growth? I thought this one had a new growth, but I guess not. Negrolambinum gg coming in with an adorable new leaf. The roots on this are insane. <laughs> a little Anthurium hybrid seedling. I want to say this is Black Beauty crossed with Ace of Purple. I don't remember. Magnificum crossed with Crystallinum Silver. The Debilis. I don't even want to talk about it. <laughs> A complex mag, which is extra complex because it keeps doing this weird thing. It like aborts its new leaves. It's weird. I don't know what's going on with it. Complex is definitely fitting. We have a begonia that I definitely said I was going to get out of stratum that I have. Not. <laughs> Forgidii crossed with red crystal and it has a cute, oh, it has a cute new leaf as well. So like I said, my anthuriums really, really love this cabinet. And then two carnivorous plants that the hubs bought. Again, I think I overwatered them because um, they've definitely looked better, but we're working on it. So now the shelf is clear. Well, I might not even put this back in there because I don't even know why I had this in there to begin with, to be honest. I'm just wiping up all of the debris. And I do this once a month. So this is a month's worth of gunk. <laughs> Probably should do it more often, but it is what it is. I just use something that doesn't streak. As you can see, it was super streaky before because it rained when we moved. I just took a towel and wiped the rain water down off of it. So it was even streakier than normal. And then we will get the outside too when we're done. Okay, so now that the cabinet shelf has been wiped down, I'll start putting the plants back. And if they look kind of dingy, I will wipe the leaves down. I don't do a super, super thorough wiping to be honest, just because I hate doing it. So I just do like quick wipe downs and then put them back on the shelf. So that's what we're gonna do next. 
Okay, so like I've been doing, I'm gonna use the Super Thrive Foliar Spray with my little glove. And we're just gonna wipe the leaves down if they look kind of dusty. If they look fine, I'm gonna leave them alone. So I'm gonna start with the bigger plants um, in the corner, which I think that Cyrenoi is the biggest one. I've kind of messed myself up because I can't reach them now. <laughs> I've like scooted them to the back of the shelf. Whoa, hit the ceiling, okay. So these three are the biggest, so we're gonna do these first. We just recently wiped this down, so I know that's good. Um, and we did the Delanii too. So these two are good. We're just gonna stick them where they belong. I wanna see if this pot fits the Delanii better. Mm, not really. Hold on, y'all. Let me see what we got. Let's see if it fits this one better. Yeah, that's a little better. Okay. I can't tell how deep it is in this pot, but we'll work with it. I am going to wipe this one down, the Cyrenoi, just because it is a little dusty. I don't think I wiped this one down, so I'm just going to spray my glove so that I don't get this spray all over the freshly cleaned glass. <laughs> okay, this door is going to drive me crazy. Something's got to get. Okay, so that's looking a lot better. We're gonna stick that off in the corner where it was. And now next biggest is probably the Anthurium Magnificum Cross with Crystallina. And I'm just gonna lightly wipe this one because it's not looking terrible. I do see some like watermarks, but it's not bad. So I'm just gonna give it a quick, quick wipe. We'll tuck that one to the back. Who's next? Um, let's do the, the Waterbury Annum Cross with Warf Weenum. This one definitely needed some attention. It was super ashy, which is sad. <laughs> oh, I played this one so hard and heavy. I should have wiped this a long time ago. Mm. We've got to do better. Okay, so this one's all nice and clean now. It's looking real good. We'll stick this one over here. Who's next? The Bessier Cross with Ace of Spades. We already wiped this one down. So it's looking pretty good. Actually, I do see a little bit of water staining, so I am gonna just quickly wipe her, but for the most part, she's good. Here we go. I'm gonna try to tuck her back here since the pot is small. Make sure she's still getting some light though. And we're good. Let's do the Forgetti Eye Hybrid. These leaves have been wiped down. So I'm gonna stick this one in here. There's so much more room without that shelf, that's crazy. We'll do the Ace of Spades next, and then... Ooh. I got the Debilis, I'm not gonna touch it, I'm not gonna wipe it down, nothing. We're just gonna stick it over here. <laughs> Sad, sad story. The Ace of Spades we've already wiped down and it's looking good, so I'm just gonna stick it right here in the middle. Same with the Complex Mag, doesn't need to be wiped down, so I'm gonna stick it back here. Our little ping we'll put right here. We have our Variegated Fry Deck and our little seedling, which literally is just popping a new leaf. It was not like that yesterday, that's crazy, so. I'm gonna stick the fry deck right here, the seedling right here. Now that all these are back in here, I'm just gonna quickly wipe the top of this. Ugh. Oh my God, y'all. I used my kid's step stool. That thing just buckled on me. Oh my gosh. Lord have mercy. Okay. Top shelf's done, I think. Oh wait, no. I forgot. The sad, sad luxurians. We'll stick these carnivorous plants in the back. Um, and then this begonia. Stick that there for now. That's going to go into the terrarium eventually. Was that it in here? I think that was it. Top shelf done. Let's work on the bottom shelf. 
Okay, so this is the same spiel. Um, I just take everything out, wipe everything down, put it back on. I just realized that my fans aren't on. Whoops, there they go, that's crazy. My fans have not been on for Lord only knows how long. That's not good. Okay, anyway, I'm gonna wipe the fans down a little bit too because they're kind of crusty dusty. We have the Anger Mercanum and it's popping a new leaf, but the top is moldy. And like I said, I think it's because apparently my fans haven't been on. So I'm gonna give this a good rinse, spray it down with some fungicide. And I'll probably leave these doors open a little bit, but the fans are back on, so hopefully we won't have that problem. This is our Bessier cross with Necrolaminum GG. This thing is like, insanely happy in pond the roots on this like i don't i don't know what y'all can see but there's like crazy roots on this thing even up at the top it's just like pushing roots everywhere they're fat and they're juicy here's another one and another one so this one is super super happy just need to get airflow because like i said there is some like mildew on the top and it's pushing a new leaf so all good things i just want to cover these roots why do I still have this on? Take that off. Our Bessie Pink, the newest leaf is starting to harden off. Still not completely there, but it's working on it and definitely has gotten a lot bigger since the unboxing, which is nice. Oh, our big boy Melanochrysum, doing pretty good. I can't remember what this is called and I didn't label it, so, but here's that. <laughs> doing good too. Just pushed out a new leaf for us, which is so cute. It's all curled up on itself, but I'm so proud of it. Oh, welcome to the world, baby. Roots are looking really good in this too. So it's definitely liking pond. Our luxuriance is rooting like crazy, but we definitely need to wipe this leaf down because I don't know if you could tell, but it is ashy. Ashosaurus. Here is our obliqua. It is working on a new leaf, so that's fun. I don't see any like crazy new roots, but it hasn't died. <laughs> so that's a positive. And it's pretty stable in this pot, so I don't think it's like dying. Oh, I do see a little bit of new root. It's just like superficial. It hasn't gotten super deep in the pot yet. So that's nice to know. This is honestly probably top two favorite in my collection right now. I really love this Oblica. Another Pinguicula. This is our Rugulosum. Yuriki? Luruki? I don't know. I don't really know how this one is doing. I don't see, oh boy. I don't see crazy new roots, but it also hasn't died yet. So I don't know, we'll see. All right, again, we're just gonna kind of dust out the grossness at the bottom here. I'm gonna sweep later, so I'm just gonna throw it on the floor. <laughs> I do try to kind of wipe the fans and stuff down too just because they can get like dirty and kind of water stained. I am definitely considering getting another Millsbo to keep any future Anthuriums in because they seem to really, really enjoy this cabinet. I don't do anything crazy special in here. You know, when you have a lot of plants all together, they kind of create their own humidity. So I don't keep anything in here to increase humidity. The only thing that I've done is set up like those computer fans. I have one at the top, one at the bottom, and the lights. That's it. It takes care of itself outside of that. So the temperature stays ideal and the humidity stays ideal all on its own. And a lot of those marks are on the outside, so once we wipe the outside down, it'll look a hell of a lot better. <laughs> All right, so now that that's clean, I'm gonna stick things back where they were. I am gonna stick this in the back this time though, because obviously it's tall, so yeah. I actually really should wipe that. Um, oh shoot, I forgot about the luxurians. Um, 
figure that out in a second. I should wipe this Milana Chrysum down because it's kind of ashy. Oh! <gasps> what? I just broke my leaf. Oh. Mm -mm -mm. Nothing about me is gentle, and I hate that for me. <laughs> um, matter of fact, I think what we'll do is we'll put this over here. Maybe like this. We'll stick this back here. We'll put this guy over here. We'll put the Besse there. We'll put this guy right here. And then the Oblica we will somehow fit in this little cavity space back here. Like this. This is kind of how it's going to have to work. <laughs> I try not to have the leaves touch too much, but it is what it is. They're going to have to touch, you know? Okay, so now we're going to close the doors and we're just going to wipe the whole outside down. Okay, so we put our hygrometers back, we wiped the outside, and it's looking a million times better than it was before. All right, fam, so that was it for me. I hope y'all enjoyed this quick little chore video. I try to do small tasks like that throughout the week or month, depending on how often I do it, and that way it doesn't get overwhelming. So today was the cabinet day. I appreciate y'all keeping me company while I knocked it out. I will list everything that I could possibly find below. So I'll list the cabinet, I'll list the lights, the fans, the handles, the hygrometers, anything that I can find a link for, I will link below. But until next time, I hope y'all are taking care of yourself. As always, thanks so much for watching and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye fam.